Now, car history. Yeah. Um, obviously, 2CV. Uh, yes, I'm afraid to say. I, uh, I had a 2C. That was my first car. Um, was that in the Workers' Revolutionary Party? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Time. Yes, it was, uh, it was a lovely thing. It was, uh, it was a dolly. It was a red and white 2CV. Oh, I remember the dolly. Yeah. I remember the dolly looked, well. Uh, they like had a... striped roofs and they were bright colours. Brilliant. Would be red, of course. Of course, yeah. Well, of course. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah, it looked like, a, looked like a pace car at a donkey derby. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, it had a brilliant feature in it. It, the, the windows were split like, on hinged, you know, so you, you could sort of flick them up like that. And of course, driving around the West Country late at night, you do attract the attention of local plod quite a lot just by being up late. You know, <laughs> <laughs> a bit late to be driving around, sir. <laughs> Where's the donkeys? And, uh, and, they, and more than once, a copper would lean down to the car and I would open and crack him under the chin. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone in the Workers' Revolutionary Party at the time realise just what a planet-killing thing the 2CV was? No, no, see, that was the thing. I mean, I suppose, at the time, you kind of think, oh, this is great, it's, it's, you know, it's fantastic, it runs just purely on... It runs on the tears of squirrels. You know, it doesn't... <laughs> 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 it doesn't run on petrol at all. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's fashioned out of bark. It's amazing. It's, it's, you could open it with anything as well. You could open it with a key, and then I realised you could open it with a spoon. And, uh, <laughs> or like a really, like two beer mats, you know. <laughs> and I, I remember once breaking into it once. I had a, a, a couple of drinks. I thought, oh, I better not drive home. So I thought, oh, OK, well, I knew how to break in it's really easily. So I just broke in, fell asleep. And I thought, Wait a minute, this is like 1981. I thought, I don't have a child. Why is there a, why is there a child seat in the back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been a good one. But then, yeah. of course, property is theft. Of course it is. So yeah. it's perfectly entitled to I steal somebody me. else's yes. and you do leave your own. Because yeah. you're a big fan of hire cars too, aren't you? Oh, yes, yes. Well, nothing handles like a hire car, does it? Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're absolutely right. <laughs> but have you ever yeah. crashed one? Um, I've, I've, t well, no, I've, I've totally <laughs> wrecked them by. Uh, I took one, I hired one in Australia, and I hired this Suzuki Vitara, and uh, he said, uh, you're not, now, you're not taking it uh, into the outback, are you? Which is exactly what I was doing. I went, no, 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 no. I'm just going to drive around the hotel a couple of times. <laughs> And the thing was, I don't know if you've driven in Australia, but the, 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 the unmetalled roads, like the outback roads, are just dirt roads. And there's this sort of very fine dust called bull dust, and it just gets into every crevice of the car. And I really, I, know, I thought, I'm really going to be, I'll probably lose my deposit when I could see that you, the, behind the plastic of the Speedo, just filling up with dust. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's, it is one of the 50 things you've got to do before you die, crash a hire car. Crash a hire car, of course. Of course it is, yeah. Um, that, is, that is essential, you know, or, or just or take it to Glastonbury. But don't you now have a Volvo XC90? I do, yes. Yeah. Fine taste, if I may say. Thank that's both of us. You could have taken that to Glastonbury, though. Yeah, no, no, this no, is... You've no, got, no, no. No, you want to no, get mud What am I saying? <laughs> take it off-road, what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> yeah, take a Volvo as well to Glastonbury. <laughs> Volvo to Glastonbury. Actually, no, a Volvo in Glastonbury now is about right. It is about right. It, it's is got, about... it has changed a little bit now. It's not quite so... Uh, it's a little bit corporate now. The, um, they've yeah. got a, there's a million-pound security fence around yeah. Glastonbury now to top, yeah. stop people. Of course, it won't stop hippies. Well, they'll, they'll, they'll <laughs> crawl through fire to get to a face paint Tent, they? I, mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a panther. <laughs> uh, that's uh, marvellous. Now, of course, you're appearing in a in your one-man show at the moment. You're yes, part troll. Part troll, yeah. That starts the uh, Apollo. The Apollo Theatre, Charles Avenue. That's enough. That's enough mm -hmm. of a plan. Because, of course, hey, you're here, <laughs> more importantly, yeah. you're here to do your lap and be our star in the reasonably priced car. Right. Who here would like to see Bill <laughs> oh, attempting yeah. to do the Liana? <laughs> OK, let's have a look at some practice, then, here. OK. It was fantastic fun, this. Where are we? Look at this. Oh, yes, that's the hardest Ooh. corner. Oh. Hey. <laughs> You're brave, you kept your foot in it. <laughs> I nearly flipped it there. Oh, <laughs> I nearly flipped it. So that's pretty good. Was that frightening? It, it was, actually. When I went out with Stig... Well, going out with Stig is quite scary, anyway. So he looks a bit like an Imperial Stormtrooper. <laughs> so... And also the fact that when you're driving straight at a corner and you think, no, we really ought to break now. No, we, we really ought to break by now. By now, we should have break way back there. <laughs> and and uh, so, uh, so it was... But, you know, once I got into it, it was, it was... I was back... I was 17 again. So would we like to see Bill's completed lap? Yes. 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 Play the tape. Ah. Look at that. It's a determined look. <laughs> a yeah. very determined very look. Very determined oh, look. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
That's a very hard corner, that, that one. That is very... You know, I, I spun off there once. This is a hard car, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is... This is neat. That's nice very neat. Nice and tidy. Nice and tidy, yeah. Nice and you, tidy. No, you're right. You, even though you say so yourself, and through the hammerhead again... Look that's... at this. Round the... What's, what's, what's the line? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I am impressed. It's like delivering pizzas. <laughs> Were you flat through there, or did you have a bit of a lift? On. No. Foot flat through foot. there, even in the wet. Foot to the metal. Even in the wet. Yeah, even in the wet. Now, this is the tricky one that catches everyone out. God! But you're through. <laughs> Look at that. And round the last... Oh, I think you could have gone even faster there, actually. You didn't use done, all yeah. the road, oh. but... I think we can definitely call that a wet lap. Yeah. Now, what's our fastest wet lap so far? Oh, well, that's Sanjeev. Oh, yeah. He did a 151.5, and then, really, we have to go all the way down. These are mildly moist, mildly damp. Steve Coogan, really, is our fastest properly wet lap. OK. 154. I was, thinking, I was pretty confident. Um, I did... I sort of lost it on the first corner a bit, but uh, I was kind of... Uh, on the straights, I was... I thought it was pretty good. So, yeah, the straights aren't very tricky, well, to be honest. I, <laughs> that, that, that's really all I'm going to do. Really. <laughs> You're talking rubbish. You mm. were obviously very good round the corners, cos you did a 153.4, which puts you... Yeah.